What does Lent and taxes have to do with each other? Well, stick around and I'll tell you. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to the Lent 40 day challenge, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna call this thing. Um, but this is day two for me, it's day three of Lent. And yesterday turned out to be a really horrible day and it completely proved how addicted I am to video gaming and how much this is going to be a good thing for me. Um, a little while ago I found out that my ex-husband and I hadn't been doing our taxes properly <laughs> and uh, I've gotten together all of the information that I thought I needed to get the taxes done, gathered it all up, went to a tax professional and found out that I had maybe one-tenth of the information that I needed. And I needed to go on to the IRS website and create an account and get more information or mail the information to them and wait um, 10 days for them to get the information back to me, which is really bad because I've taken out a loan to be able to pay uh, my Colorado state taxes and I need to be able to pay, uh, you know, pay those loans back as soon as possible. So I was already majorly stressed out and on top of everything else, when I walked into the tax office, I ended up with a major panic attack uh, to start with. Um, so, you know, you start with a panic attack, you get information that says not only are you, like, ignorant of what's going on around you, you didn't do the research, so you're, you know, looking twice the fool, and, um, you know, it just was a bad time all around, and, you know, my son Sam... He's absolutely adorable, did not want to be in the um, playpen. He wanted to be in my lap, playing with all the paperwork, messing up all the paperwork, getting it all, you know, mixed up. And so I was kind of despondent anyway when I walked out of the office and came home and tried to put Sam down for a nap, but he really wasn't interested in napping at that time. Um, so I set him up to play and I went on the IRS website and found out that because I don't have a phone in my own name, they won't let me, because um, phone numbers are one of the things that they use to um, verify your identity and because I don't have a phone in my own name right now I wasn't able to create an account online um, so I went from despondent to needing something to cope um, and my first response was to go to my computer games to go to Sims and create a perfect world and live in that perfect world for as long as I possibly could before I went to bed. And I didn't. It took everything that I had in me not to and then I even ended up cheating in my own mind. I went on YouTube and I watched a couple of play with me and build with me uh, sorry I keep looking at the screen instead of looking at the camera um, a couple of build with me and a couple of play with me from some of my um, people that I follow on YouTube about simming. So, you know, I still, and it was just, I heard the, I, I heard the intro music and everything just kind of calmed down. It was really eye-opening and really um, hard to accept that I could be addicted to a video game as much as I've been addicted to um, 
narcotics in the past as much as I've been addicted to cannabis in the past. Now, I'm going to segue here and say it's not that cannabis isn't addictive. It is that cannabis does not have any withdrawal symptoms. So it is addictive, trust me, especially if you have the right or the wrong brain chemistry. But so, yeah, I'm thoroughly addicted to video gaming and that is going to make this even harder. But um, I'm going to, you know, I'm either going to let myself wean myself off of Sims by continuing to watch YouTube um, when I feel that on edge or I'm going to have to not watch my sim builders on YouTube, which, you know, is no skin off of their nose, but for me, it could be a major thing. I mean, I even texted my best friend yesterday and it's like, I need a beer and a shot or a bottle of gin. And I have not wanted to drink in quite some time. <laughs> um, my two year anniversary of being clean and sober is coming up next month, yay! And, um, you know, it's stuff. But yeah, yesterday was pretty bad. Um, and today hasn't been much better. I was scrolling through Facebook and every single bloody advertisement on my thing is online shopping, it's Wayfair, it's Wish, it's buy these contacts, buy this hair serum, and it's like, no, no, I'm going to have to pack up my son, go get us some lunch, and go get a phone so I can fix my taxes. And uh, that's what I'm going to do in just a few minutes after I do some makeup, um, which I may or may not record. You guys will see it later. And yeah, so if you haven't seen the first one of these, and I probably should have put the end card up first, I'm gonna put an end card to the first one, or a, a click on me card up here somewhere. I don't know which side it's gonna end up by and on. But um, I'm also gonna put some links, I think it's gonna be on the site, <laughs> links to playlists and other videos that I've done. Please subscribe, like this, and comment. Um, and as always, thank you very much for taking time out of your day to be a part of mine. Bye-bye.